Good afternoon and welcome to Beacons for Christ Ministry UK. We are excited to be in the anointed Zoom room one more time. Amen. God bless each and every one of you. We want to first give reverence to the whole reason that we have gathered here together. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we worship our triune God. Amen. We want to give reverence to our covering pastor, Dr. Maria Seaman from the swim ministry in Bermuda and to head out of Kent as well in the swim ministry in Bermuda. God bless you in the name of Jesus. We appreciate you and we thank God for you. We want to give honor and reverence and respect to our presiding pastor, Pastor Randy Lipo. God bless you, men of God. We are excited to find out what God has in store for us today through you, his willing vessel. Amen. Much love and respect and honor we want to give to our first lady one of the founding rocks of beacons for christ ministry that, that keeps everything flowing the way it should god bless you woman of god reverend eunice lipo god bless you and to all of the swim saints and clergy who have joined us from the swim ministry in bermuda god bless you in the name of jesus we see you there reverend dark Woods, we see you there as well reverend carolyn dallas god bless you all we love you and we thank god for you and all of those who will join now and later god bless you deaconess god bless you in the name of jesus <laughs> i'm speaking things i'm speaking life over you deaconess it's okay god bless you all and again i just want to give reverence one more time to our covering pastor who has joined us god bless you woman of god we honor you and we thank god for your presence it always adds strength to us as we are in service lifting up the name of jesus and to all of you Beacons for Christ ministry uh, team, God bless each and every one of you and all of you who will join us now and will join us later via social media links. God bless you. We believe that you will be warmly blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. We're going to go right into our, our opening song, affirming God is here. Brother RJ will open us in prayer at the closing of this song. Let us lift up the name of Jesus. God is here.
Hallelujah, Heavenly Father. Father, we thank you for this moment right now. We thank you because we are able to be in your presence one more time. Father, I thank you that I'm able to be amongst your people right now. Various strong Christians, Heavenly Father. I ask that you have your way as we come to you with our hearts open, eager to hear from you today, eager to hear what you have laid onto our pastor to give to us, Heavenly Father. Father, we pray that a soul may be saved today, Heavenly Father, that a soul may be encouraged today, Heavenly Father, as each of us come and give our best to you on this Sunday, Father. I pray and I thank you for our presiding pastor. I thank you for our covering pastor, Dr. Maria Sim, who continue to show up Sunday after Sunday to continue to do your will, Heavenly Father, to rightfully divide your word and then give it to us, Heavenly Father. I thank you, Lord. I ask that you have your way today in this service. I ask that you bless every single person that has showed up, every single member that has come here to hear from you, Heavenly Father. I pray for your will to be done. Heavenly Father, I pray for each and every person that hears this on our social media platforms, Heavenly Father. And I pray that you may have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Brother RJ, for that covering prayer in the name of Jesus. We Thank you for it, and we receive the fullness of that prayer in Jesus' name. At this time, we invite Sister Blossom to do the scripture reading for today's service. Amen. Good evening, church. Today's scripture reading is from Matthew chapter 13, verses 9 to 16. Here beginneth the reading of God's holy word. Who have ears to ear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whoever have to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whoever have not from him shall be taken away, even that he have. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. May God add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We are excited. A warm hand there. We are excited to find out what God has in store for us in service today. God bless you, Sister Blossom, for the reading of the scripture. Amen. We are at an exciting time in service. We have arrived at the Beacons Youth Corner. Amen. And we are excited to welcome young sister Anara, who is going to be doing the Good, Better, Best poem. And then the Blessings Abound poem will be done by young brother Josai. Let us give them a hand. Amen. Good evening, Beacons. Today I'll be reciting the Good, Better, Best poem. Good, Better, Best. Never let it rest. Until your good is better and your better is best. Good evening, Beacons. I'll be reciting the Blessings of the Bound poem. Lord, I thank you for your blessings. Lord, I praise you for your favor. I choose you as my Lord, my friend and my Savior. When my gratitude flows up, your blessings pour down. With you as my Lord, great blessings abound. Amen. Praise God. Yes, indeed. Great blessings abound and abound some more. God bless you, young brother Josiah. God bless you, young sister uh, Nara. 
we warmly keep them prayed up. We warmly keep them encouraged. These are young stewards, young beacons, allowing their beacons to shine. And so we continue to keep them prayed up in the name of Jesus and encouraged. We are going right into our praise and worship, and we are going to go into a continuous flow of praise and worship. Let us lift up the name of Jesus and send up a sweet smelling savor today. Oh, 
What a blessed praise and worship service we are in. Amen. We don't want God to ever pass us by. Amen. That is our call out to him. Pass us not. Amen. What a beautiful praise and worship song. We are going now into our sermonic song. We will lift up our eyes to the hills from when cometh our help. We will sing this song as we prepare our hearts to hear a word from our pastor. God bless you at the ending of this song. The next voice you will hear is Pastor Randy Lightborn. My help, let us lift up the name of Jesus.
Praise the Lord, everyone. I greet you as always in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. We're going to take this time for us to acknowledge our wonderful covering pastor, Pastor the Dr. Maria Seaman. I want to greet you as always in the mighty name of Jesus as I pray your strength in the Lord, always, and the mighty team you bring with you, always from that Shaw Connor family. I send God's blessings. To all of you, special call out to Doc. I didn't have the opportunity because of technical difficulties. I wasn't able to tune in, but I'll catch up later. Uh, the message that was brought forward today. But thank you all for being a part of this service once again, for having the opportunity to fellowship and to be of an encouragement to each other in this unique setting. Let me jump straight into prayer and then we'll get into this world that God has given me. Father God, all glory, all honor, all praise always goes to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you once again for the opportunity, God, the privilege, Lord, to be like Isaiah, to be used, Lord God, to go and to declare your word, Lord God. Thank you this day. Go before me, Lord God. Continue to allow your Holy Spirit to order my steps, to control every thought and every word that comes out so that it represents you as you would have it to God. Bless the service. Speak to them, Lord God. Give them clarity as they hear this word so that your name will be praised. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 